Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Here we will learn how to design a collapsible sidebar which we can hide and again open it. Uh, so I'll use the Tailwind CSS and Alpine JS for this purpose. And if you already if you are already familiar with Alpine JS and Tailwind CSS, that is good. But if you are not familiar and you don't know how to integrate these two technologies, so I'll put the link of the video in the description that shows you how to integrate these both technologies and how to set up them together. So uh, let's get started with this one in this video. And first I will design the layout, a sidebar and a body section. And after that, we'll move forward to add the functionality of uh, collapsing or expanding the sidebar. So moving to uh, VS Code now, uh, I have a project open in my Visual Studio Code called Telpine, which means Telvin and Alpine JS, and I'll create a new file inside the root folder of it and name it as sidebar dot html. And when you are working with Telvin CSS, make sure that this file is included in the Telvin dot config dot js. And here I have included all the files with the html extension so that is fine and our tailwind will work in our sidebar dot html which we created right now moving forward linking our tailwind css which is inside the public folder and styled css and linking the alpine js via the script tag which is also inside the public and with the script js name that is fine now moving I'm creating a div a, actually a wrapper div which wraps our sidebar and, and the content in it so dot wrapper it is a custom class and it does not have to do anything with the CSS we can skip this one as well but I just named it let me give it ID of wrapper So inside this one, I'll create uh, uh, the sidebar and the uh, body section of our layout. So div sidebar and another one with the uh, body, maybe body ID. These are just layouts. Okay, I'll first um, check out the sidebar. So let's say class. As you know, Tailwind is utility first, and we can just add classes to design our layout. So I'll, I'll just give it a width of 48, a height of screen size, and overflow, overflow y on the y axis auto. And the items on the sidebar may uh, exceed the uh, size, the screen height, so it will overflow it automatically. And now that is fine. I'll add a background color as well, beige, maybe gray 900 or 500. Let's save it and check out this file on the browser. Let me first open it, reveal it in File Explorer, and open it. So this is our sidebar is now ready. Let's move to the body section. Give it some class. Let's say the width should be full, which may be 100%, and the height should be according to our screen size. And again, overflow of the content should be uh, auto, maybe scroll or hidden. So overflow y auto, and a background color to make sure that it is working. For now, let's add BG 400. We have we got the uh, that one here under the our, our sidebar. How to bring them together? We will just add the class of flex to our wrapper. Okay, you can see that we got the sidebar and the body section uh, side by side in a row. Uh, now uh, we are almost ready to add the functionality. So first, let me add a button here on the sidebar as well as on the uh, body section to when we press on the button so it should open or close the sidebar so coming to the sidebar creating another div and 
inside the div and just adding a button and just putting x inside it so designing the area actually and giving the div a class width of full and a height of auto and as well as a padding of four let's save it and check it what we get we get a button like this we can move it to the right hand we can just say flex to the div and justify and which is a flex property we got the button here the same thing we can do we can add the same button in the body section just uh, making the justify and to justify start okay let's save check we got the same button here now our layout is almost ready and we can add the functionality to close or open this one for that i will use alpine js alpine and i lose a variable uh, to just control a flag to control whether the sidebar is open or closed so we'll use the x data of alpine js and i'll just say inside it a variable is open is true so we can say when the when is open is true the sidebar must be visible and when the is open is false the sidebar should be hidden so i'll use the uh, width technique and reduce the width when is open is false i'll, I'll re reduce the width to zero and when the is open is true uh, i'll add it to uh, i'll just make it again 48 pixels so removing this width from here and using the uh, bind method of uh, alpine js so putting a colon and a class it means that bind these classes that i'm writing here let's bring it to the next line which class should it bind so it is here inside the class i'll write a condition is open so if is open is true then put this classes which class wait 48 and a colon it means if not is open is if not true it means is open is false so just uh, with zero let's save it and see what we get on the browser we have the same thing that we had before now uh, just for testing purpose i'm making the is open false yeah you can see that uh, now we don't have any sidebar so uh, working perfectly uh, and now I will add the trigger to this buttons. First, let me add this the trigger to the button of the body side. So I'll just say add uh, even. I'll add an event of Alpine JS. Add click, or you can simply say uh, uh, x x on click, or the short form is add click. I will add a dot prevent as well to make sure that the button is only for uh, work, uh, for uh, triggering the is open. So change the each time when we click on this button, uh, change the value of is open to false or true. So it's is open equal to uh, let's say not is open. Save it and let's see what we get. When you click it closes and when we again click it it will open the same um, functionality should be applied to the first button we can uh, change exactly we can change the uh, sign here we can put uh, words or we can put other icons so now we are ready and our so only one thing is remaining that the behavior is not smooth and it just gets disappeared or just opens so we we'll let a transition for our sidebar and for our body section i'll let transition all i'll use the transition all and a duration of uh, let's say 200 the same for the body we can do transition all and a duration of 200 let's save it and check what now you can see this is smooth it is just like sliding of course you can change the uh, these icons and you can add more contents suppose let's say a ul inside our uh, sidebar and some li let's say introduction let's copy it multiple times and save it you can see and we can add as well as some content in 
or body section as well. Let's save it here. So, uh, and let me check how we get this in on the mobile or tiny devices. Let's right click and choose the inspect. And it, iPhone 12 Pro is selected, and you can see that it looks something like this. You can add more customization by using Kelvin. Uh, that's it for this video. Hope you get something. Thank you very much.